hello you guys welcome back to my channel so i'm in the living room and i'm really enjoying how it looks not over there Also, I think that is where my Christmas tree is going to go. But I'm really enjoying color scheme and everything. Oh, is that not so gorgeous? I, I love it. I could not be happier with it. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy with it. She's gorgeous and we love it. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a rundown of... My day yesterday i had a pretty full day yesterday and i didn't even have a moment can i i was just looking at this little chair that mia has i also have to give you guys an update on her oh my goodness okay so in the morning i had an appointment my appointment was for 10 a.m which would have meant that i would have needed to leave here early no my appointment was for 10 15 so i end up leaving here at 10 because the doctor's office was literally so close like five minutes drive if i walked it would have been like 20. so i drove there because i i took an uber there because obviously i had mia with me and everything because i was going to be out all day and her dad had to leave for work at like 11. so we went to my doctor's appointment it wasn't too bad they didn't see me at my appointment time which really annoys me like that is one of my biggest pet peeves i think why would you set an appointment time if you're not even going to see me at that time anyways i didn't end up i i got seen pretty well let me show you guys i have a doctor's appointment and i think i might get Mia's ears pierced today i'm not sure we're gonna go by and see how it works but i think i got any so this is the last look of her without her piercing i'll enter the picture and we'll see if it works so excited. I have a lot of errands to run today. <laughs> and then I left there and I had to go to my attorney's office because I had to drop something off. So I went to my attorney's office and dropped that off and I'm going to show you guys that now. We're at our second stop. She has her leather hat on because it's not as hot outside. And then I think we're going to try piercing her ears after this and picking up my prescription. So we did doctor's office, lawyer's office. On the road, running some errands. So far, I went to my doctor's office, I'm at my attorney's office, and then I have to go to the mall. I'm going to try and see if I can get her ears pierced, and then we got to go to the pharmacy. I got to change her on here all changed now we're gonna put her back in her carrier and we're about to leave i have milk and everything to make a bottle for her but she's not due to eat just yet so we are doing good time look at the girl on the counter after my attorney's office i said since i'm in the general vicinity of the mall i'm gonna stop by the mall and see if there's a possibility that i could get mia's ears pierced as you guys heard me say in the clip before this one so we popped by the mall and I was indeed able to get her ears pierced and she has the cutest little earrings. So I'll show you guys that as well. Ears. So cute. <laughs> so bad as hell. It's so cute, honey. We did her ears and she looks so cute. Mia. Mimi. She's mad as hell. She looks so cute though. It's so red, but I bought a thing to like spray on it. Oh, I'm so excited. After we got her ears pierced, I came to my local walgreens because i had to pick up my blood pressure medication and so i got that and then we ventured home and since we ventured home we were just here basically just chilling the entire time we're home and we are currently laying down she was crying earlier so i was trying to soothe her and put her to lay down i put some bacitracin on her ears but you know we're just relaxing for a little bit I'm trying to see if i can get her to sleep and i will sleep with her as well but her ears are pierced she looks cute 
right now she's at the stage where she's exploring her hands so i'm hoping that she doesn't accidentally like hit it with her hands or anything hopefully not look at her looking say hi baby say hi friends say hi friends she's not talking to us she knows what i did and because um she i don't know if her ears were hurting but last night she she was just having a lot of night and you know i was comforting her but also she's at the point where she's pulling herself up to sit up and um you know she's she loves her her mouth like she's exploring her hands to her mouth and so she's always doing this and like eating on her hands it's the cutest thing so we have that going on to love 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 to see her little milestones and everything but the other night i got super emotional and i ended up taking her out of her crib and putting her in the bed with me i had to keep her in the bed with me last night too because she was really having quite the night and i wanted to comfort her you know what i mean because they are babies and she's fresh to this world and does not know how to regulate her own emotions let alone know how to even operate on her own without like or help as her parents and so you know whenever i find that she needs a little extra comfort i'm always going to be there to give her the little extra loving and that's just that this battery needs to be charged it's telling me that but um yeah so i gave her some comfort last night she was in the bed with me and you know we were just chilling right now i could hear her moving around in the bed she sounds a little bit gassy so i'm gonna make sure that her bottle this morning is extra warm earlier i gave her some boob right now it's 8 54 a.m so she woke up at like 6 and i gave her some boob change her diaper so when she wakes up again i'm going to um get her cleaned up for the morning and make sure that her bottle is extra warm to help with like a little bit of the gas because if you're a caribbean any at all you know that the one thing they're gonna tell you is to make sure that you drink some tea everything wrong with you drink some tea caribbean parents think that tea is the cure to everything and it'd be a lot of times where tea really helps because sometimes you're just gassy and the hot tea helps with the gas anyways that is kind of where we're at right now um absolutely love the living room the baby furniture is here too so it's like you know also since she's sitting up i think i'm gonna have to get her a chair that actually sits up the way how she wants to sit up but i'm also gonna toggle with this one because i see a little green button on the side that looks like i let me see if i can show y'all uh, where's my finger this little green button right here looks like i can toggle with it to kind of sit up a little bit her godmother bought her this year one of her godmothers she has two godparents two godmothers specifically i don't know if her dad has anybody who he would want to be godparents not that i've seen any of his counterparts fit the god father role but i don't know anyways that's another story for another day but um I'm gonna toggle with that and see if I can get it into more of like a sitting up position because she quite enjoys sitting up right now so that would be perfect for her and I wouldn't have to buy another contraption because prior to having Mia I was telling um one of my besties for the restie Jody. I was telling her that I'm not really a fan of all the baby toys you know getting excessive toys for the babies and like excessive appliances furniture for the baby i i can't i'm not you know my ocd screams out of me so um i want to be able to manage that and that's one of the reasons why i got this ottoman that i got so i'll be able to one allow her to have a regular childhood give her the toys the this the that and be able to throw them inside of the ottoman at the end of the day and like not lose my mind so I'm excited about that. But I got really emotional the other night. I, I didn't even get tell, done telling you guys that I'm all over the place here. But, you know, that's that's how my life is. I got really emotional because I realized that I'm going to be going back to work in a matter of weeks. And uh, 
I'm not going to be able to spend every single night with her. So I'm already prepared to overcompensate in the mornings when I come home and have her snuggle up in bed next to me because I'm going to miss her so much. But also, thankfully, my job, like I have to be there at a certain time. Like it's overnight when she's sleeping anyways, but I, I like watching her when she sleeps. But also she's at the point now where she's sleeping for long stretches. So like she could sleep for the eight hours that I'm at work for. So that's good. So I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything when she's awake and all of that. Anyways, I wanted to come in and give you guys a rundown of the day I had yesterday and basically just wrap that up into one vlog. And um, yeah, we got her air spares. That was she cried. She cried. She cried a little bit. She didn't cry for too long. And um, that is where we're at. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And we're about to start another vlog today. Bye, guys. Bye.